Ariel Halwani in Montreal alongside CB Dalloway, who meets Michael Bisping this Saturday at UFC 186. And uh, CB, it's good to see you. You know, I've heard I've heard a few bad custom stories in my day, but I don't know if. I've heard six hours before. What happened? They kept you for six hours coming here? Yeah, you know, I think it was just the timing when I came in. Uh, there's The whole room was full, so it was like two and a half hours before I even got to start the process. And then, you know, once the process started, the lady said, you know, she had to fill out a, a pretty good amount of paperwork and stuff. And, you know, had uh, gotten into some fights in college. And, you know, uh, Canada is pretty strict on that stuff. So I had to fill out a, a temporary residence application and you know I had it all had it all around and everything it was just a matter of getting the paperwork filled out and everyone was really nice and you know it just a lot of people and you know that is what it is and I'm here now and, and feeling good and ready to go. Given your past were you expecting that kind of weight? Uh, yeah I knew there was a possibility of it I was hoping uh, I was going to get right through but I think uh, the customs officer may have been a Michael Bisbing fan he recognized me right away he's like oh you're here for the fights you're fighting Bisbing he's being cool I was like oh man maybe he's going to let me go right through and then he's like yeah just uh, go over there to immigration uh, have a good day I was like oh so yeah I got in there and just kind of you know sitting around and the worst thing was no food or water in there and obviously, as you know, a lot of us are cutting weight, so kind of eating little bits, you know, every couple hours. So six hours of no, no food or water was a little tough, but uh, I was able you know, get some water out of the drinking fountain. And one of the uh, customs officers ended up giving me a, a pack of almonds to munch on. So, I mean, I'll consider it. Yeah, so it worked out. <laughs> so everything's good now. Here you are. You're in Montreal, you're fighting Michael Bisping, and of course, you're coming off that tough fight against Leona Machida. And, and I heard in an interview where you said maybe the, the moment and the emotions of the moment got to you. That was your, maybe arguably the biggest fight of your career, maybe since the Ultimate Fighter finale. Is that accurate? Did you, did you almost kind of get, you know, too you know, worked up in the moment and the pressure of it all? Oh, yeah, you know, it a, I have uh, had months to sit back and reflect on it. It was a very frustrating and disappointing loss, you know, just... How I reacted to the moment, it could have been much better. Um, just had a lot of nerves I haven't had in a long time. It was almost like being in the octagon for the first time again. Uh, and, you know, the, all that day I just didn't feel myself. And then uh, got in there and I was like, I don't know why I felt like that all day. This is what I do. Um, obviously, it didn't go too well. And, and this time, you know, I'm just looking to get in there, have fun, fight like I know I can. I train with some of the best guys in the world every day. Um, and Michael's, you know, one of those guys, but like I said, I train with the best guys in, in the world every day. I'm going to get in there and business as usual, go after it, and put on a great show. How long did it take for you to get over that fight? Because, again, it was a really big moment for you, and you flew all the way to Brazil, and, of course, it didn't go your way. Was that a tough pill to swallow? Oh, definitely. You know, I was right back in the gym um, just working on things, you know, and just, yeah, just trying to clear my head of it and just put it in the past, you know, and I'm almost like it didn't happen because of the disappointment and uh yeah it's just you know i'm ready to get out there and make a run at this other opportunity you know uh big opportunities don't come along that often and and i have another one sitting in front of me saturday night so i've got to get out there and make the most of it bisping is somewhat of a lottery ticket everyone wants to fight bisping right because he's a big name and some might say he's on the decline were you excited when you got this fight Oh, definitely, you know, uh, to get this fight after, you know, the performance against uh, Machida, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what was in my future. So to get another big name and um, stylistically, it's a great matchup for me. I don't, I don't know that the Machida fight was the best matchup. Um, and I feel that Michael is a better, uh, better matchup due to his history against wrestlers. So uh, very excited. And uh, like I said, it's a great opportunity, opportunity and I need to go seize the moment. We, the media and the fans, uh, we like a fired up Michael Bisping, but you haven't tried to get under his skin all that much, although it seems like he's a little annoyed now that you said you're going to retire him. It, was that your you know, last-ditch effort to just stick it to him before the fight? Oh, i got to get him fired up a little bit, but uh, you know, th this fight, personally, for me, is I have something to prove to myself, you know, that I, I had to go out there and show myself that I can perform with these top guys. Um, don't want to get him too fired up, but... Uh, you know, if it happens, uh, that is what it is. Uh, he, you know, he has his job at Fox now. Uh, he, I feel like he maybe does have one foot out. Uh, but, yeah, no, not really trying to get under his skin, but uh, whatever, you know, get him fired up a little and make for a great show. Do you think he's not as good as he once was? If he gets beaten really badly on Saturday, do you think he should retire? Uh, you know, it's up to him. You know, uh, I'm not going to say anything 
on that because I've had a tough run in my past, you know, and I've been able to make a resurgence in the uh, middleweight division. But at one time, you know, I was having some bad performances and made some changes and needed to get healthy. And uh, I, w I was much younger. Um, so, you know, I don't know. It's up to him, his management, UFC. They'll figure it out. It's amazing. From that seventh season of The Ultimate Fighter, there's only three of you remaining. You, of course, Matt Brown and Amir Sadala. Sadala hasn't won in quite some time. So it's really you and Matt Brown who are still very much relevant in the UFC. Did you think that you'd be able to stick around so long? When you first got on the show, did you expect to have a long career here? Um, yeah, I definitely expected to have a long career in the UFC. I knew I was very young um, and kind of a really relatively inexperienced. You know, I had six fights going into the Ultimate Fighter, but they, those six fights happened in one year. Yeah. Um, you know, so I went from Division One wrestler right over to fighting and you know, I knew I had a lot to learn and I still have a lot to learn and that's all I can do is just keep trying to progress keep trying to get better and you know just put it put together a complete game and I feel you know I'm on my way to doing that now all right, well looking forward to it best of luck to you thank you very much for the time I appreciate it Ariel take care